Thank you, Dr. Don Goldberg. I, Gina Bass LDO, do solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the Pennsylvania Osteopathic Medical Association to put for effort, time, and diligence to promote the tenets of the osteopathic profession and to ensure the continuance of our profession for those osteopathic physicians who will follow us and keep me steadfast in the due performance of this my pledge as an elected officer of the POMA. So help me God. Thank you. I am so proud, honored, and humbled that you have entrusted me to serve as your president for the coming year. Certainly much has changed since I became president-elect, not the least of which has been our new reality of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. I had originally formulated my thoughts for this week and my inauguration for a completely different set of circumstances that we all now face. Although much of what I was going to say would have been with my family present, most still holds true with my osteopathic family here assembled virtually tonight, so I will proceed. Please indulge me as I take this opportunity to publicly thank some very special people in my life that I planned on being with us for this inauguration and have helped me become who I am. My parents, Catherine and Glenn Battistella. Thank you. What more can a child say to his parents and is never enough? They have both been role models to me as I have grown up in a home filled with love, faith, and family. Their examples going about every day of life with these virtues, as well as having a strong work ethic and always having respect for yourself and others were the basis of the person I strive to be every day. I love them and I thank them for more, more than I can ever express. My brothers, sister, and extended family. My brother Glenn and my sister-in-law Debbie, as well as nephews Anthony, Bradley, and wife Megan. My brother Gary and sister-in-law Diane. My sister Brenda, brother-in-law Michael, and nephew Michael Anthony. We grew up together in a loving, faithful home with lessons learned by the quiet example set forth by mom and dad. By no means were we a perfect family. We argue are often each stubborn at times, and of course, each of us is always right about whatever is being argued or discussed at the time. But at the end of the day, families would always bring us together. I love them and thank them all for their support. My father-in-law and mother-in-law, Steve and Georgetta Healy. In-laws can get a bad rap, but they are not representative by any means of that popular portrayal. I thank them for their love to Michelle, Donick, myself, and becoming part of our family. Last but not least, Michelle and Dominic. Dominic, Michelle and I had our prayers answered when we learned of your coming, and I thank God for you every day. We are at times way too much alike, but you continue to grow up into a fine young man. He is my best friend, and I am so proud. I love you, buddy. Michelle, my beautiful, loving wife without whom none of this is possible. I thank her for putting up with my early mornings and long nights and weekends at work. My time away from her, Dominic, and family for Puma, District 8, and everything else that keeps me from being with them more than I desire. As we can all test behind every person dedicated to this wonderful profession of osteopathic medicine, there's always someone who picks up the slack on our behalf. Michelle, I love you and thank you for all you do for me and our family. If that hasn't become evident by now, Family is very important to me and it's a driving force that all I am involved. I briefly introduced my family, but there are other families I would be remiss if I did not mention here tonight. My Simmons and College family, Brother Norman Hips, Dean of Academics and Provost while I was a student, and then later is now the immediate past president of St. Vincent College, who was actually planning on giving our invocation at the inauguration banquet in Valley Forge. His friendship personally and the Benedictine education provides me is invaluable to me. Father Paul Taylor, President of St. Vincent College. I was inspired by his recent inauguration himself and look forward to all the great things he will do at St. Vincent, continuing the legacy of his wonderful institution and of our predecessors, including Brother Norman. I hope in some small way I can do the same here at Palma. I have lifelong friends, too numerous to mention from St. Vincent. Uh, without inadvertently leaving someone out, uh, I will not name names. Know that each of you are a special part of my life starting with our time at St. Vincent. St. Vincent is truly a special place and I feel blessed for having gone here for college and every time I had the opportunity to return. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. My PCM family, Dr. Ken Bight, and previously my boss 
at Sea Lion Family Practice where I did work study while a student at PCLM, Carol Fox, Pam Ruoff, Kevin Berry, and the rest of my PCLM family for giving me the opportunity to live my dream beginning with my osteopathic medical education at PCM and continued friendships. My closest friends of the PCM class of 1992, George and Maureen Person, that way they sum up in Johan, Wade Bush, Gretchen. My only regret is we don't get to spend more time together as you are on the wrong side of the state. My office in St. Clair Hospital Administration and friends where I presently practice. Monica Erickovich, my office manager many years, and her husband, Frank. Chuck Collins, Chuck Krakowski, Barry Zeiser, and Mike Flanagan, and the rest of the management team at St. Clair. I also need to mention my partner in practice, Michael Nate. He is like another brother to me. I spend more time with him than anyone. He can't be with us as he's working so I can be. It will be a busy year for him as well on my behalf, and I thank him immensely. And now for my most close osteopathic family, here on May District 8. Les Pullen, my mentor and District 8 Chairman Emeritus and past PUMA President for taking me under his wing 20 plus years ago, encouraged me to become more involved in PUMA District 8 and has been very much instrumental in my advancing within the profession to today. I thank him for his guidance and friendship. Tom McGregory, former PMA trustee and long-standing education committee member. Pete Strachey, Vice Chairman and President District 8 trustee. Jessica Master, District 8 Treasurer and POFPS Incoming President, Chris Perci, District 8 Secretary, Dennis Eccles, District 8 Education Committee Member and Former Secretary, Margiel Gee, and Kevin Thomas, our most recent additions to from the District 8 Education Committee this past year. This is truly an amazing team, and I'm blessed to call you all friends and to work with each of you for the benefit of District 8 and our members. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention Gary Ponda, former District 8 Chairman and past PUMA President for his involvement early in my osteopathic career when I was a student, then a physician, and a member early on in District 8. Hal Pochi, former District 8 Trustee and Committee member, he and his wife Betty are truly missed by our group. Last but certainly not in the least, my PUMA family, why we are all here today. PUMA is an organization that is rich in history since its inception in 1903 and has a strong legacy of leaders that have and continue to impact our profession and the people for whom we care. A special thank you to our now immediate past president, Pamela Golden Dio, for leading Pomo with vision through a time of change and guiding us through at times turbulent waters to advance the organization for the future. Joan Grzybowski Dio, George Burmeyer Dio, Anthony DeMarco Dio, and Michael Zuisa Dio, as our most recent distinguished presidents, in addition to all of their predecessors, have been instrumental in the continued transformation of the PMA along with you. Our dedicated board of trustees and officers, including Joe Zawissa Dio, Vice President and now President elect, and Eric Miley Dio, Secretary Treasurer. Jeffrey Dunkelberger Dio, uh, my trusted friend and confidant, or in terms of the classic movie, The Godfather, my consigliere, who is also Speaker of the Pema House of Delegates and was to be my Master of Ceremonies for inauguration, noted I trust in your wisdom and pragmatic demeanor, and will even so more in a year to come. Our amazing Pema staff, beginning with Diane Ebert, our CEO, Chief Staff Officer, Andy Sandusky, Vice President of Public Policy and Association Affairs, Brenda Deal, Director of Communication and Education, and now more importantly, and what a blessing, mother to be once again. Also, Tammy Keller, Governance Specialist, Jason Leeper, District Program Manager, Deb Cargill Rowan, Membership Manager, and Susan Dupuy, Administration Coordinator of Finance. Thank you for all that you do. The list of people are given of themselves for the advancement of the PUMA. And to me personally, is amazing, and no list can be complete. I'm sorry that I can't name you all individually, but know that you have and continue to be appreciated as well for all that you do. Thank you. Now I'd like to focus again on our family here at the Poma. Change is inevitable, and is how we adapt to change, embrace it, and use it to move forward that makes all the difference, not only for ourselves, but for the good of our profession, our members, and ultimately for our patients. We see this constantly and now, most especially as we're incorporating more technology into our practice of medicine and being such as what we're virtually tonight and with this clinical assembly. In a new world of travel restrictions, social distancing, and shelter in place, it's now more important than ever that each of us continue to provide individualized, attentive, humanistic, and compassionate care to our patients. They deserve it. This is our osteopathic heritage, and we need to maintain that focus for the legacy of our profession and for our patients. They seek the difference that osteopathic physicians provide, not just in LMT, but in hands-on care, diagnosed on every visit, true compassion, 
And by touching every patient on every contact, not just physically, whether it be in the office, the hospital, or even in our virtual contacts with them. The Pelman leadership and board has continued the last several years to strengthen and demonstrate these tenants and to provide more valuable membership, more value to membership through our strategic plan and incorporating core pillars. Community, communication, education, and influence. Community. Strengthening our membership base, including contacts with our students, interns, residents, and our members, and even non-members to show them all that PEMA can offer to them. We need to welcome and encourage membership, incorporation, and continued efforts of districts to have innovative local CME and community events for our members and patients alike, in addition to more regional or statewide CME, such as this conference, and again, this year, now virtually. Although more and more education is being provided online in other formats, it remains important, even in these virtual interactions, we maintain that personal human experience. The PUMA is providing resources financially and with staff to help us do all that we can to advance these goals. Communication. Advancements have extraordinary over the last several years, including most notably this virtual meeting and again, this clinical assembly. Not to be overlooked, PUMA has developed a new webpage, a presence on Facebook and Twitter, among other social media, and the PUBL mobile app. This, truly, this is truly amazing to follow colleagues, lectures at this conference, track CME, and renew membership, among others. Our PLMA news are in multiple formats, and our most recent addition, the past several months, under the dome, our digital newsletter affecting updating on advocacy efforts and with the latest happenings in Harrisburg affecting our practice of medicine and to our patients continue to be improved upon. These have all provided timely, pertinent information relevant to our members. Education. This annual clinical assembly, as well as other educational opportunities across the state, including District 8 Winter Seminar and other district meetings, PCM, DCOM, and POFPS supported as much or little as that particular group may be required by PUMA. Innovation is already noted and providing programs for licensure requirements and education, including child safety and opioid education, and probably through much recent provision, much effort, recent provisional accreditation provide ACCME credits for those members in need of such, demonstrating once again another benefit of PUMA membership. Influence. The goal was to provide inspiring information that moves people into action. Much has been going on with legislative efforts, as we've discussed already extensively at this board meeting tonight. Scope of practice in telemedicine, prior authorization streamlining, balance billing, state false claims act, modifier 25, and change of venue are just the highlights of the multitude of issues being followed and acted upon on our behalf of our members by PUMA and our lobbying efforts in Harrisburg, as well as locally. Most recent letters have been submitted and advocacy efforts directed to the PS Supreme Court, as well as Governor Wolf, for malpractice leniency during the COVID-19 pandemic as our physicians battle on front lines. All these represent issues where grassroots efforts, even at the local level, are most important. All of you have a voice with your local legislator, not just representing yourself personally, but also as leaders in the community to represent the patients and others of whom you are on issues that are important to them and their medical well-being. Voter Voice is a software product that can and will be used judiciously by PUMA to rally the troops, so to speak, on specific issues of need to involve us all quite personally in this process. These are all just a small sampling of all that PUMA has been involved and will continue to be involved with to care for and strengthen our PUMA family. But we need you. Each of you have unique and personal skills, relationships, and capabilities that can and will be cultivated for the benefit of our members and patients. I know here tonight I'm preaching to the choir, but please talk to others in your districts to encourage them to get involved and share some of themselves with the rest of our PUMA family. I can tell you that giving back to the profession and the PUMA PMA has offered me this wonderful career of osteopathic medicine with the friends and relationships that I've made has changed my life forever. Finally, in closing, I will leave you with quotes from two of my favorite philosophers. First, Jimmy Buffett. Go fast enough to get there, but slow enough to see. Think about that. Secondly, old blue eyes, Frank Sinatra. The best is yet to come, and won't that be fine? Thank you, and I'll be looking forward to being with you all in person again soon and working with all of you in the year to come.